Today I'm going to start out with a great soda can flower. Now this is my regular one that I use a lot with my jewelry that I sell, but I have a little bit different twist where I'm just gluing it together with a dry adhesive. You know, with all the colors of the soda cans that are out now, you can't go wrong with the colors for spring. Take a look. I'm using the Aline's Tacky Dot Singles today. They're easy to use, they're quick, that makes this project so fast to put together. We're using soda cans today, all kinds of soda cans, different soda cans, they all have wonderful colors. And just simply use a craft knife to cut them apart. You just push it in, cut it all the way around, turn the other side. It is a little bit stronger here, so come in about a quarter of an inch and cut it off. At right at the end. And when you're done, it actually is like this and then you cut it open and you have your material to work with. Now I usually work from the color side because I want to know what color I'm going to use. Like I don't always use all the color of it. I love right here on this one this pink color. So I put my template, just a circle template, right over the color area. Use the stylus and just simply mark where you want your circle. And just use old scissors to cut it out. Don't use your very best ones. And I have found that as long as you do everything with a rounded edge on a soda can, it does not, it's not sharp. Everybody always asks me, well isn't that sharp to wear or use? As long as all the edges, no matter what you do, are rounded, it is not sharp. Now I cut my patterns or my little templates out of cereal box and I just, this has an eight pointed flower. I put it down onto my piece and I simply mark it with my stylus. I have eight points, eight petals. Sometimes I need to know where the center is, so I put a little dot. And then just, again, do the rounded edges. I'm going to do rounded point, uh, petals. And then turn it over and do the other side. Now that I've cut my flower shape, we want to emboss it. Take your stylus and go on the back on each petal. And also notice I'm working on a piece of craft foam. It really embosses really well on a piece of craft foam. Turn it over and just put a circle right there. And one of your petals is ready. Now we have several different sizes of petals that I've cut. And I've done them all the same way. The last little center petal is actually a circle that I've cut in or fringed around the edge. And that's going to be the very center. On the back of each piece I have put a Aline's tacky dot I've removed the top layer, and so now the tacky dot is there, and I've removed the back layer. So I just start to build them. And you can see my flower starting to take shape. And on the very center, we're going to put one more. We're going to put a little bead in there and wrap that little center. I'm just taking my fingers, my, just my fingertips and wrapping it around the bead. To make the leaf, I use my, one of my patterns. I put it down just like we did on the flower and just trace it with a stylus. I turn it over 
impress my stylus and then I turn it on the other side to get my vein and sometimes even if it's not cooperating where it's sticking up then you just put some more uh, lines onto the front of the and it'll shape up like you want it to let's take a look at the box Here's my leaves and my um, flower. And then the sides, I took some squares. And I just cut them and I used the Aline's Tacky Dot Singles underneath each one and just put a mosaic on each side. Super simple, put it on the background. It makes it so easy to do and eco-friendly.